All right. Okay, so we are going to be voodoo flossing a knee here. So for this, I'm going to be using a compression floss band, right? And all I want to do is I'm going to start here at the bottom of the knee and then I'm going to go above the knee. So this area right here is the kneecap. What I don't want to do is I don't want to smash the kneecap down and compress it against the femur and the tibia, right? So I'm going to go below, I'm going to start below and then I'm going to go above. Right, so I'm going to get my band here and I'm going to place it probably right, in, right around that superior aspect of the tibia. So right above where that tibia ends here, I'm going to start, or begins rather, I'm going to start and I'm going to wrap. I'm going to wrap out to in. I don't want to go into out. Patella likes to go out, likes to sublux or dislocate out, so we're going to go in opposite direction. So we're going out to in here. Out to in, I'm going to wrap. Once I connect, I go half overlay. So that's one wrap, and I'm coming up. Again, half overlap, this is two, and I'm going to pull across that area here. All right, so for Lydia, she has some IT band, um, GERDY, tubercle sort of sensitivity, um, IT band, potential tendonitis, tendinopathy sort of situation. So we're going to use the floss to alleviate kind of what's going on here and give her some uh, neurofeedback, some feedback to the brain. And this is a little bit of a brain play, but also we're helping with tissue healing on this, right? So again, pull over the front and then I wrap around the back, right? That's two. And then one more, half overlay, pull over the front. Lay, and now I'm moving to the upper thigh. So I'm gonna have you scoot down a little bit. Right, now I'm going above the kneecap. So this is the kneecap space. I'm gonna go right above it here, and then I cross, boom. One, I cinch down that quad. Two, and one more. Three, so that's all I meant by three above and three below. It's gonna feel pretty occlusive. Right, so it's gonna feel like, oh gosh, like it feels very tight, it should. We're not gonna keep it on forever though. All right, so then I get my finger here under the wrap and I just tuck it in. All right, so I got my eject switch here, my eject strap, I can just pull it to relieve, right? But I'm gonna wear it like this. Now, the most important part of incorporating some movement with the, with the floss on, right? We got compression, now we need compression with some motion. So, a simple motion that Lydia could do here is something as basic as just knee flexion. So getting the, move to new, to, getting the knee to move through a deep range of motion. So all the way back, all the way forward. Right, and you can get even more range of motion. So if you want to get off of the table, we can do air squats here, right? So turn around towards the table, hang onto the table, and then you're just gonna go squats, assisted squats while hanging onto the table and help yourself up. So this shouldn't be painful, shouldn't be discomforting, or should be a little discomforting is okay, but should not be painful at all. Right, so Lydia is moving through a deep range of motion here. Yep, letting, encouraging that knee to move, to flex, to move forward. Good, and we're gonna go about 15 to 20 of these, right? Just like so. Good. Okay, and now, so I like to incorporate about two to three different exercises. For this next exercise here, we're gonna do a half kneeling lunge, right? So for the lunge here, lady is gonna place that right foot forward. Yep, and then you're gonna put that left knee on the pad. That's perfect. Okay, and you're gonna go all the way down. Just gonna go to the half knee leg position. Let that knee rest on the pad there. And then all I want you to do is you're gonna go hand over hand, and you're gonna put it on your knee, on that right side, and then just let that knee bend into deep knee flexion. There we go. Right, so we're working on, let me see if I can get in the shot here. We're working on the knee here, as well as ankle range of motion and calf mobility, right? So we're lengthening the quad, or lengthening the calf, we're getting the knee to move through deep knee ranges of motion, and we're also working that ankle through ankle dorsiflexion. What I want Lydia to do here is to really just kind of manipulate that knee direction. So let the knee go forward, let the knee go inside, let the knee go outside as she moves through the rep. So not, not like kind of swaying through, but as you go, so like this, so I'm here, I can go inside and come back. I can go outside, and I think outside would be most beneficial just because we do have some IT band stuff going on, but don't move so aggressively. Really control it. 
right? Moving forward. And again, you'll go about 10 to 15, 20 reps of this. Right, and this is two exercises that you've done with the band on. Now we're kind of getting to that timeline. You want to do about three to five minutes of this per treatment. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back on the table, just like where we were, and then we're going to take the band off. So you can kind of pull that rip cord. Yep, go for it. Yep, unwrap it. Now you're going to feel that fresh rush of blood into the leg. And we can just go back to table air squats here. So just go back, give me about 10 air squats on the table. Just move through a good range of motion here. Right, yep. You might get some pop snaps, cracks, that's totally fine. Right, and we're just moving that knee through the range of motion, helping to promote the blood flow back into the leg as we move through this. How's that feeling? Good. That looks good. And that's it, right? So you'll do about two, two to three sets of that.